Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will be creating stylized text. But first, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe. And if you love my work and want to support, then you can follow me on my Patreon. And if you want the finished blend file, you can get it on my Gumroad page as well. Well, let's start modeling. Delete the cube, Shift A, click on text, RX90 to rotate. Go to the front view by tapping one on the number keypad. Go to text settings. Click on font, select Arial Black and the fun part here is that you can select any font of your own choice except the ones with text overlapping on one another. Now select the text, tap to go to the edit mode and uh, you can write any text of your own choice. Now what we're gonna do here is to press Shift A, select plane, RX90 to rotate, scale it down a little bit. Tap to go to the edit mode, while in vertex like mode, right click, merge vertices at center. So now we have only one vertex, you can move it anywhere in the scene like any other mesh. Actually shift D to duplicate it one more time so we can use it again as well. Now select this vertex and put it right at the edge. Now tap to go to the edit mode, then E to extrude the vertex. Extrude again. Now you just have to keep on extruding. While creating the round parts, you don't have to be much precise. I mean, you don't have to add a lot of vertices for a perfect round shape here because later on we will be using a subdivision surface modifier and it will make it perfectly rounder. And where there is a big straight line, it's okay to use a single extrude. Well, you just have to extrude it again and again and try to keep it close to the text reference. Now we will be closing our R, but first click on option, check auto merge and in snapping select vertex like. Now select the last vertex, E to extrude, now press ctrl and bring the mouse cursor closer to the next vertex and it will automatically snap on the other vertex and they will merge as well. Well it didn't merge. It happens sometimes, uh, what you can do here is to zoom in, you can see it didn't snap perfectly over the next vertex, select this vertex again. Press G while pressing the control or command button and you can see this time it snapped perfectly and it merged as well. And we have our R. One more thing here, we don't want to create any inner geometry for the look we are going for, so don't create it. But first, I'm going to uncheck text select so we don't keep on selecting it. Press Shift A, select circle, number of vertices to 12 or even 16 if you want. Now RX90 to rotate, scale it down. Match it with the text reference. And like I said before, we will not be creating any inner geometry. Now for the G, it's almost round. So we can use our O again, Shift D to duplicate. Now delete the vertices you don't want to use. And after that, it's the same process of extruding and more extruding. So I'm going to quickly finish up the letters and hope all of you guys can easily follow along as well. I remember I made a duplicate of a vertex here somewhere, oh, it's uh, it's connected with R. Press P, separate by selection and now it's totally usable. Now we have our text outline, select one letter and then go to the modifiers tab and select subdivision surface. 
you can see it's messed up but uh, it's normal it was gonna happen and i wanted to show you guys this problem that's why i wasn't fixing it while outlining our letters so you all can know what has to be done when any of you guys get stuck here but first select the rest of the letters and then the letter with the subdivision surface press ctrl l copy modifiers now to fix it you can turn off the subdivision modifier now tap to go to the edit mode the simple fix here is that uh, where there is a hard edge you need to have multiple vertices around it to keep its shape now while in edge select mode select this edge right click and subdivide for this edge you can see it has two hard edges one at the top and one at the bottom so right click subdivide and increase the number of cards to two now this bottom edge also has two hard edges so I can simply press shift R to repeat the last action we performed which was adding two loop cards. Shift R. Shift R for this one as well. This edge. You can see there is only one hard edge. Then right click and subdivide. Some of you guys might not be getting anything I'm saying right now but uh, don't worry. Once we start fixing it, you will know why we needed multiple cards and why we needed single ones. And if you have trouble figuring out where to use multiple or single cards, you can either do all of them on single cards or on multiple cards. It's not a very big deal. Now turn on the subdivision modifier and you can see still nothing has been done. Now go to the vertex select mode, select this vertex, press double G to drag it closer to the corner vertex. And now select this one and double G to bring it closer to the corner vertex as well. And you can see it's fixed now. Now select any vertex we created and bring it closer to the corner where there is a hard edge. Here you can see we did multiple cuts so both of them can go for the hard edge and uh, we don't have to subdivide again to create a new vertex. I purposely missed subdividing this edge so we can subdivide it now and any confusion that some of you guys are facing is also taken care of. And you can see our R is now perfect. The O doesn't need any work done. All it needs is that uh, we increase the subdivision level to 2. And uh, yeah, it's not looking bad. Hope you get my point and won't have any problems fixing the rest of the letters as well. Our text outline is now complete. One more thing is that uh, you should keep on saving so you don't lose any progress. Now first check if the letters origins are in place or not. You can test it by checking if the yellow dot isn't inside the letter. If it's not then select the letter, go to object, set origin, origin to geometry. Now select all of them, right click, convert to curve. Now select one letter, go to curve settings, in geometry increase the depth to 0.05. You can see it's a lot, decrease it to something like a 0.02. Okay, now increase the extrude to 0.5 meters, 
uh, now we don't need it this much decrease it to something like 0 0.005 if you like it extra thin then uh, 0 0.005 or 0 0.007 can do what you want or if you want to increase the size then you can go for anything in between 0 0.02 meters or 0 0.05 meters I'm gonna stick with 0 0.03 meters for this tutorial now select the letter right click shade smooth now for the rest of the letters use the same curve settings and then shade smooth Once we are done, select one letter, go to the modifiers tab and select array, make the x factor 0 and uh, increase z to 1.3. Increase count to 20, actually I want it going to the back side, so I'm gonna use uh, minus 1.3 here. Yeah, it's looking much better now. Now select all the letters and then the letter with the array modifier, press ctrl L, copy modifiers, well, we are done here. Now go to the front view, control alt 0 to place the camera directly at your viewing angle. In camera settings, increase focal length, press G then double Z to take the camera back so all of the letters are in focus. Now you can modify your letters by rotating them along Z and X axis. You can totally see they are looking much better now. You can rotate the camera to your desired angle. You can even change the air count, their distance or any curve settings if you want. You should totally go for the look that you love the most. Now go to the material editor, you can choose any base color. Now the only thing we are gonna do more is to decrease its roughness to 0.3. Again transfer the material data to the rest of the letters. Now it's on you guys to light up the scene, add additional objects here and there. Well this is it for today, hope you loved the video and if you did then please like the video and subscribe my channel if you haven't already and if you made something unique you can also tag me on my insta, I always love to see your work. Well see you all in my next video, you all take care till then and happy blending.